Hello everyone, my name is Yuna. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to get your ch children interested in learning, interested in education. Um, how to get them to read books. This is the bottom line uh, message, mission of this video for me. So, to give you a little bit of a background on me, when I was growing up, the first 18 years of my life, I did not really value education. I didn't really care for it. I didn't study I just played you know mostly games and I did whatever I want and you know you you hear when growing up I hear all the time you know the people who are older than me saying you need to study you need to read books you know one book per week and all that kind of stuff and when I was 18 you know there was an epiphany in my life and I started to realize wow I need to read a lot of books uh, for me to achieve my goals so I started to read a lot of books for my own personal sake. You know, this was something that no one else told me or inspired me to do. I needed to do it because I realized that it, I needed to. So I started reading a lot and I saw the difference between not knowing and knowing. And I started to ask myself a question. You know, why, why is it that I didn't read when I was little? And I came up with three ideas as to why and three ideas as to how you will achieve you will get your children to start reading books so number one is you must read and study if you are telling your children you need to read you need to read books and study or you, know, you need to focus on school they your children are going to look at you as an example are my parents doing the things that they are telling me to do? You know, they're telling me to read books, but and yet they're watching TV in the living room right now. So why should I do it? So you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to play games. That is their thought process, okay? Um, because that was my thought process. So what you do is what they do. There's a saying, there's a saying in the Asian culture that your child looks at the back of your head so you must lead you must go in the right direction you must lead by example so they do it so bottom line is if you don't read your children won't and number two is you must change you must change so what does that mean no more TV and computer is only used for educational purposes or business purpose that that is one of the biggest things no more TVs no more don't waste your time on things you, you don't need this is what TV does to you ready pretend this is your brain your children's brain so TV will teach you who got murdered today what bank got robbed today what riot broke out overseas what plane crashed overseas uh, you know how much you no know, bubbles spongebob blue today uh, useless information is bottom line what I'm trying to say useless information and then this is your children's brain and they're going to ask themselves a question one day how can I have a fun how can I have a fun, dynamic, successful, financially free life? That's what they ask their brain, right? And the brain says, well, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know that question, but I know what bank, what bank got robbed today. I know what people, I know who got killed today. I know what, um, where, the, where the, the newest riot was today. You know, if you don't feed your brain the right information, your brain won't give you the right answer is bottom line what I'm trying to say and that is what TV provides and I, I don't know if that was a horrible example but I think it's a good example so so no more TVs don't if your children are watching a lot of spending a lot of time watching TV the um, big companies that want your children to spend a lot of money to them 
that, that's that's all they're feeding hey kids spend your money to us to us Nickelodeon um, Carton Network spend a lot of money to us that's all they're teaching that's all they care about they don't care about you know your children moving up in life they don't really care about um, if your children knows the ABC's as long as they know that your children can spend money they have the power to spend money they have the power to influence their parents to spend money on them that's all they care about okay so that's what TV teaches you and number three is surround yourself with the right people your children need to surround themselves with the right people what do I mean instead of the instead of the obvious questions well yeah of course my children needs to stay hang out with the right people because I can't ha have my children hang out with gangsters and they get in trouble and do drugs and all that kind of stuff right yeah I mean that's obviously you know that's obviously the basics of what I mean but what I mean is if your children right you have your you ha let's say you have a son and you have your son's friends and your son's friends are playing games um, because their parents let them and you're telling your children you're telling your child all right no no TVs and no games because you need to read books and you know your child understands that when you know for a little bit and then he starts asking himself a question well you know Billy's parents are you know okay with Billy playing games but why isn't mine why is my I, I love playing games I, I went over his house and I played games and it's so fun why can't I have some fun you know they they're gonna they're going to connect games into fun right and they're going to start comparing their life to other people's life and 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 start questioning themselves and start hating what what where they live and all that kind of stuff so what you must do is surround yourself with the right people parents who are like-minded as you and children who are good children who are well taught well educated who stay away from games who you know parents understand and what that will provide is you know when your child is 25 and they look back on their life and they realize you know that's what my parents wanted me for wanted me to do this is the vision that my parents created for me when I was eight years old this is what my parents wanted me to accomplish this is the main reason why they didn't want me to play games they will understand and appreciate what you have done 25 years later but until then they will not understand they they cannot possibly understand because there's a year difference, there's age difference, and there's knowledge difference, and um, you filled yourself with so much knowledge, but your kids, it's fresh, it's a blank, it's a blank page, okay? So that is my three tips as to how to get your children interested in learning. I don't know if that will help you or if it gave you some ideas, but I, I believe what I say, um, will definitely help for to those who understand what I'm truly trying to say and uh, trying to accomplish so thanks for watching please subscribe leave any comments questions and suggestions that you have for future videos or if you want me to have if you want me to make a video response leave that in the description I mean leave that in the comment section below and thank you for watching.